Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back. Um, today I want to talk about offers, getting paid, packages, money, all of that stuff. And I want to ask you the question, do you have a Veruca Salt offering? You know when Veruca, <laughs> Veruca is like, I want it. I want the world. I want it right now, daddy. Get it to me. Um, not that we are probably asking our parents for these things. We're all adults. We can make our own decision. But it really got me thinking about somebody seeing you and them having that connection with you online thinking, oh, I think this is the person. I think this is the person. I think this is what I need. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, she's speaking my language. I heard her on a podcast. Oh my goodness. There's something in this. She's like me. Um, how's she done it? Like all of the things. And then you go on their website and everything is closed. You can join the wait list. You can use like get the newsletter. You can listen to another podcast of them telling the same story, but there's nothing to buy. And you might have the money ready going, I've got this money that I want to spend on my business finding this answer and they don't have anything for sale. And I know that from my clients, there are so many different ways of doing this business model where you do what you love and you combine your own income pie. But today, you know, I mean, business when I got my trusty highlighter out today, I want you to think of what that offer is for you when somebody just wants you. So that could be an hour of your time, a day together. It could be a course that you put together where you share everything, step by step by step. Here's what I did. Here's where it went wrong. Here's where I took a cheeky turn. Here's when I did something that I wish I'd never done, but it led me here. Have a think about those lessons that you have learned along the way because somebody out there wants that knowledge. So imagine, and I don't know why this came to mind, but I think it's a good tangible example. If you've got a pal who is a photographer, and when I was growing up, for example, I didn't really know any photographers. I think you'd go into like one of the um, chemists and then like there'd be a bit of a sheepskin rug out the back and somebody's like, yeah, 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 I'll take your picture. Who knows if they were qualified and then you could buy it and then you suddenly see your face in the window. Um, but I didn't grow up with creative people at all. And now because I live in London and I've got small children and uh, they will have different opportunities given this digital world as well to what I had. But I think back to that time um, and actually, I can use the, the acting example. I didn't know any actors either. And I didn't meet any actors that actually got paid until I was being paid as an actor. And I remember going through my teenage years thinking, nobody can help me here. Why? And we didn't have the internet. We didn't have a digital online world. Um, and I just thought, how useful would have that have been to sit down with somebody for half an hour and say, these are the drama schools that I'm thinking about. This is the offer that I have on the table. This offer is pending. This, I didn't get a place. Like all of that stuff. What do you think I should do? Bear in mind the amount of knowledge that you've pulled together over the years. And we can all be quite humble in this and say, oh, well, doesn't everybody know this? Or like, I don't know, is this basic stuff? No, for the most part, it isn't. And what people want to know is the behind the scenes stuff, how things get made. When I'm employed as an actor, for example, I am, of course, working on my art, my craft. Um, I am doing all of those things. But when I'm on set... I am watching everything. I'm watching everyone, how people communicate. What does that person do? Okay, what's the tone? Um, how do people create the schedule? Like all of that stuff. So have a think about what that offer could look like. That person that sees you online, chats to you in a bar, is a friend of a friend and says, can you tell me all the stuff? Um, yeah, it's a great way of helping somebody, of really being useful and taking them step by step. 
and also it could be a lovely cash injection into your business. If you wanna talk more money, if you wanna talk prices, packaging, and you're like, oh yes, I kind of get what you mean, Nikki, but I'm not sure what that would look like, you can go to an Ask Me Anything session, which is on my website, or you can go to the money one, uh, nikkiraber.com forward slash the money one. We get into the nitty gritty of all the money stuff um, and also being able to price this new offer perhaps within your pricing menu, what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you so much for watching, for listening. I can hear sirens, so I'm going to actually leave it there. Um, check out the links below and I'll see you next time.